Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2021 video tutorial, the second part of the WW109 fighter plane. I want to do the wings. In order to do those the wings, I need profiles. And if you want to get a more detailed model, you have to use more different profiles. I will use only just this one and scale it down to that size. Saves a whole lot of time. So let's start with a sketch on the main sketch plane. And I want to go for circles and splines. So let's take a look. Go for a circle here on this side. Maybe like that. And another one over here. Smaller one. Maybe like this. And I need a construction line between the center points of those circles. And maybe move that circle a little bit to this side. And now I want to use splines. Let's see what kind of splines we can use. We've got both interpolation and control vertex. I might go for this type. Depends on the program. So let's start maybe on that. Can I snap? Yeah, I can snap. And then try to go along that curve here and I could try to end just on that circle yeah and create let's move back and take a look yeah that spline should be of course not for construction and I want to have tangency between this one and that one. And also on the other side. And you can of course adjust that one a little bit by those control vertices. Yeah, it's okay. Then another one. From this circle here should go along this edge here and again I forgot to deactivate that construction so select it and switch it no, selected and now it's okay. Nice. Make it tangent. Same on the other side. And maybe make this a little bit smaller if possible. But that's not really possible without fixing that circle or give it a dimension. But it doesn't really matter. So maybe like that. Okay, let's go for trim. This should be removed. That should be removed. Same here. And maybe adjust the splines a little bit. That's more like it. Yeah, that's okay. And I want to copy that profile. So let's select it. Control C for copy and finish that sketch. Let's go to our inner wing plane. And make a sketch there. Control V for paste, and that should bring back my profile. There it should be, here it is. And I want to move this, so select it and move it. Not like this, 
use the command, go for move, and it could go for point point. So select the base point, and that might be this one, and now move it up, maybe to that position. Yeah, it looks okay, like this, and done. Now I want to copy this profile here, so select so like this one, Control c finish this sketch and go to the outer wing plane and do a sketch there. So go here, make another sketch, Control v for paste, which should bring the profile up to the same position. And finish that sketch for the moment. Let's take a look from the side, looks ok, and I need a plane, which could be between those two lines, or I could make one with an angle around that line. If I scale that sketch, that might cause a problem with the plane, so I could do the plane afterwards. Let's go back to that sketch, there's sketch 7, I want to scale it. Hopefully we have a scale command, we have scale, select it, the point would be this point, and the scale factor should be 0 point or column 55, and done. So why is this in sort of magenta color? Interesting. It's not this color, it's a different color. Why? Don't know. So I want to move it. and I want to move it in that direction. So, let's see, can we do it along? No. So I would have to draw a line to make a horizontal movement. Let's draw a line, a construction line. which starts maybe here, and then goes horizontal up to about that position here, and try to get it horizontal aligned. No. Now it's horizontal aligned. Okay, make it for construction. Now I want to move these to that point. So go for move command, select it like this, go for the base point, that would be this point here, and then, yeah, I want to like this removed, yes, and move it, of course, to this point, and done. And it's the right color again. Great. Now, I still need that plane. So I want to go for a plane with an angle around that axis. So finish that sketch. Make. I don't really need that one because I need only a point for the sketch. So let's go for a plane, where's plane, plane, with an angle, that would be this one, and the plane would be the main sketch plane, and I want to have a 90 degree angle, that should do it. Let's take a look, yeah, that's okay, and now I could hide that image sketch 
Okay. Okay, let's go for a loft. It should be, of course, a surface. And I want to go from this profile. Can I select the complete profile somehow? Can I go for a closed loop? And no, it's not selected really. So you have to, now it's selected completely. Click to add and try to select this one complete. No, now it's selected and this looks okay. So confirm and make it not translucent. This one. Now I need a sketch on that plane. I could use the loft with just a point, but the point will not give me a really nice wingtip. It works, but it's uh, not the best solution. So I want to do the same method as I did in some of the other programs. Therefore sketch right there. And I want to project the cut edges of this. So go for project cut edges, which gives you those lines here, which are ready for construction only. Now I can draw a spline. Interpolation should be okay. Select this point, go in that direction, point, 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 and point. So this didn't work. It's easier to do it without that surface visible. And even that plane should not be visible. That plane, can I hide it? Yes, hide it. So now go for the spline from this point in that direction and snap on to that point as well and go for create. Make it tangent here and over there. Now adjust those points a little bit. Just the way you want it to be, maybe like this. Looks okay. Finish that sketch. Let's bring back that surface. Okay. And now I want to do a loft. Again, it should be a surface. Select just that arc here. Select this arc here. Go for click to add, select that arc, and the rail would be this one here. Okay, and confirm. Make it not translucent. And now we can go for a patch. The patch without automatic edge chain, this edge and that edge. And I want to go for tangency and tangency and reduce that weight here to let's say 0 0.2. That should work and confirm. Nice. Not translucent. Turn it around. Same here, go for a patch, select the edge, select this edge, go for tangency and tangency, and again reduce the weight here to let's 0 0.2. That should work. Gives me a very nice wingtip here with a distinct edge. Quite nice. Now let's stitch those together. So go for stitch, this surface, that one, this one and that one down below. Apply. I'm done. Now let's make this one not translucent. And now I want 
to extend that wing to the main sketch plane for you have to make it visible go for an extend go for an edge chain which is not selected automatically and make it to that plane here and confirm and cancel this out nice next i want to tilt that wing upwards because i modeled it horizontal and the wings are slightly tilted upwards five degrees or about five degrees let's hide that plane i need a sketch because i need a rotation axis on the main sketch plane that would be a line maybe like this make it horizontal should snap yes finish that sketch but you cannot use that line somehow you have to go for an axis so let's make this line an axis and then you can use modify move body select the body click here if you want to rotate switch to rotate and i want to go for that axis here yes turn it around and that should be five degrees upwards and i'm done so hope it was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook app fan page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to next one bye bye